Hey guys, TK1138 here with episode 3 of my Tactical Gear Loadout series thing going on. Uh, in the previous episodes I've mentioned that I'm going to be getting to some of the more key integral components of what my loadout is and what I'd recommend for a lot of other people. Not that I'm saying my gear is the best, because it's not. Simply that I found a loadout that works well for me and I really wanted to share with you guys. So, the most important piece, in my opinion, is a belt. A vest looks really cool, super tactical. Holsters are great, ammo bags, dump pouches, all this. But all these kind of come together on a belt. I mentioned in the first episode that people always want to jump to a vest first. A vest is good to move to if you realize you can't load any more stuff on a belt or you want to have that look. Again, vanity. My weakness. But a belt is far superior. Honestly, I, I could nerf really well with wearing nothing but a belt. And that includes pants. And a shirt. Shoes would be helpful. And a blaster, of course. But if I could just have my blaster and a belt, I'd be set. Yeah, that's how serious I am about this belt. So anyway, uh, a molly belt is what I'd really recommend just because my, my go-to word is being modular, being uh, the ability to customize it. That's always key because some people are right-handed, left-handed, different play styles. And it's good to have options. You don't want to get locked in with gear. That's the mistake I made with my vest. Cool looking vest, but everything is sewn onto it as opposed to having like molly attachment points. So I can't like move my pouches around how I want to. Probably why it's going to be going in the trash before too much longer. Anyway, tactical belt. And as with most stuff on this series, I'm going to try to keep it... Oh, excuse me. I'm going to try to keep it around $20. So, here it is. This is my Molly Tactical Belt. Uh, I like to wear it around the house. You know, I like to do cooking, cleaning. Uh, I shower with it. No, no, I'm just kidding. But it's really comfortable. It has a really nice padding to it, which is great if you're going to be running all day. Water absorbing material, which is great if you're going to be running all day and sweating. Yeah, Nomne, that was a heat wave. Anyway, on here I have my two... Spare pouches for my loose starts for my sidearm. I have my 3 mag kangaroo pouch loaded with my worker 22s. Only required a little bit of modification. I'll go over that in another episode. And the dump pouch from episode 2. Super handy. Also mounted on my left side. Uh, a lot of people used to see that I had a holster on my back. I did take that off recently in lieu of this dump pouch. That's how much I like it. Because I'm right handed. So I have my primary, and the ability to pull the mag, stick it in the dump pouch, pull the second one, that, that, great. Anyway, a belt is super important. I have, I've been able to put Apex Weapon Solution stuff on here with these additional straps while super stylish. Are also great for making sure this thing doesn't bounce around too much on you when you're running. And again, I, I think I said the word running like three times every episode. I just felt like running handy to have. So, the nice thing is this one goes great with my vest, my vanity vest, but using this allows me to put the magazine holders here. I could run mag holders all the way around, dump pouches, holsters, canteens, iPod things. I like to listen to music while I nerf, so it's kind of handy to have, but all in all, one of the key components to anything. If you're one of the two hammer shot cowboy sling guys, put two hammer shot holsters. If you're a flywheel guy, load this thing up with kangaroo pouches so you have enough ammo to survive longer than five minutes. I know I, I'm not a flywheel hater. In fact, I just bought a, uh, a rapid strike recently that I'm gonna start working on. I mean, Springer Master Race for life, of course, but a, a guy's gotta have some options, man. So uh, yeah. Anyway, sitting at 4 minutes, 17 seconds, try to keep these things under 5. I will link this below where to get this. Again, as with most of my gear, Amazon Prime. Uh, if anybody has any questions about gear or wants to recommend a piece, I would love to see it. I've already got my first one. Uh, I will get with you personally because this thing's already in the trash. It was horrible. Anyway, um... Post in the comments anything you want to see reviewed. I'd be happy to get it and test it out. I have a Nerf War August 13th, so deadlines for me to try out new gear because I do not recommend any gear on here that I haven't tried out personally in a war first. I have a, a war on the 13th, so deadline for most gear. I need to have it by Friday 
tomorrow or Monday at the latest so I can get it here in time to try it out. Again, what's the point of a review if you're not going to try it? I never understood unboxing, like, let me give you a review. Yeah, that's great if you're shooting in your backyard or in your workshop, but I want to test stuff on the field, let you guys know what I think. So, anyway, this is the end of episode three. This is TK1138 signing off. Nerf well, my friends.